you're new here, welcome to my channel. I welcome you with open arms and I hope that you decide to stay a while and smash that subscribe button down below. Sorry for the face. Let's just say I don't wear makeup anymore. But here is the much waited, anticipated, my kid is now seven weeks old and I have not uploaded the room tour video. So here you go. So behind this door is the nursery. First off, I'm gonna start on this wall. This has to be my favorite wall, I think, of the entire house. Not even just the nursery, just the entire house in general. Um, now, the flowers that are on the wall came from Hobby Lobby. Those are a Hobby Lobby fan, and I just placed them like, like they are, kind of offset. And then I got her initials from Etsy. I will try to link that down below and I'll try to link these two if I can. I'm not sure if I can or not. Now the crib is from Walmart. The crib skirt is Amazon. The sheets are Target. And then I got this, I'll come in a little closer. This little plaything from TJ Maxx and then all of her little animals. Now this is just for stadium purposes. Kid don't sleep in here. So there's no sense in not using this space because she doesn't sleep in here at, at all. She kind of co-sleeps with us. And then I have this basket which has muslims and then more blankets and then I have blankets rolled up in the corner. Then I have her um, baby monitor here and then that's the screen. I take that whenever I put her in here. And then the sign that says, let's be brave and kind and love more than less. And then this sign, which says, you're our best adventure. All these signs, all of them come from Hobby Lobby. This lamp, I couldn't tell you where it came from. I think the lamp came from Ikea and the lampshade came from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure. And then I got these two at our gender reveal. And then a picture of Briley. The canvas came from the hospital. They kind of did pictures in the hospital. And then this is just her little changing station. I have some Honest and Huggies in here just to make it look cute. And then some bows, some of the mini. If you have a little girl in the way, sorry about that ugly burn. So sorry. Um, if you have a little girl in the way, these are great and so are these. I will link both from um, both of these down below. They both came from Amazon and they were really cheap. I think I paid $12 for like 12 of these and then $12 for 18 of these. Wonderful. All of God's grace in one tiny face. I need to put a picture in that. And then these came from her baby shower. So I just put them out there. So in these drawers, these are some little... You would think I would know what these are called by now. We're just going to say they're blankets and then these are some blankets along with some muslins underneath that and then these are swaddles she never ever used any of these but this one for pictures and then here we have the passies and the clips here we got some ryan and rose clips and then some r and r kitty teeters and then some teeters here along with her brush and then here are all the burt claws well not all of them because we have more somewhere else um, these are not all of her passies either. I will show you where I keep her passies at. And then, now, I forgot to tell you, this all came from Badcock. I got this from Badcock a long time ago. Um, and then I have her diaper genie. I have all her newborns stuff here. This is all her newborns, newborn onesies, onesies. And then underneath that is the going out, like, outfits, the more dressier outfits. Here are her gowns, her little footed onesies, footed onesies, and footed onesies. This is all newborn. Then it starts zero to three months, and then the onesies, and then the footed onesies, and then more onesies in the back. These are three months, and then, so all this short is newborn is uh, three months. And then going down to the next drawer is all her wipes, and then more gowns that she cannot wear yet. These are like three to six month gowns. 
excuse that nasty foot. And then in this drawer, we have bib galore. You can never have too many bibs, but I think I do. Hats are in the back. And then these are more burp cloths along with her dressy little hat that I need to take a picture of. And then some mittens. And then these are all socks. Then we have her pant drawer, which ranges from newborn zero to three, three months, and then on up. And then this is the overpile drawer. This is all three months to three to six months, six to nine months. All of that is in this drawer along with the Christmas outfits that we took pictures in. It has a lot. Okay, so ignore the modem in the corner. It's our Wi-Fi modem. We're going to ignore that mess down there. This is our Wi-Fi room. And yeah, so that sign came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, my ring light is in here because I take all of her pictures in here and I stage it down on the floor. And then I have her laundry basket here I got from TJ Maxx. And then I made her bow hanger, which has all her alligator clip bows on it for when she has longer hair and can wear those. And then ignore the wrinkles. Please ignore the wrinkles. It needs a little TLC, tender love and care, a lot of it. But we're going to ignore that. Those are blackout curtains. Those came from Walmart. And then the sign is Hobby Lobby as well. And then we have the rocker glider thing that came from Walmart. And then her picture blanket, which has all her pictures that was in the hospital on it. That came from Walmart. My mama bought us that for Christmas. Which I love and then the sweet baby girl as you're going out as you can tell she is sleeping right there but then sweet baby girl is right there that came from Hobby Lobby and then the closet now don't come at me and tell me my kid has a lot of clothes because I know the closet we have everything ranged from newborn to 18 months which is down here um, we have all of these outfits and then we have all of the shoes down here she can't wear any of these right now these are all newborn papers that you really don't need to be seeing and then this is her hospital book thing that it came with a baby doll that's my old baby doll in this corner we have toys galore some boxes of loves um more play mats and toys this I had out. Let me move that. So then we have all of her books and then some more bath stuff. That is a bath thermometer. I highly recommend that. I haven't got it out yet, but I do highly recommend you getting one. Some more leftover wipes and this is the bassinet that goes to her stroller. Right now we're just using her car seat. There is an extra diaper bag down there and a boppy pillow. This is the nursing one. I didn't nurse, but Highly recommend those for when people's holding the baby. And this is her closet. Oh, let me tell you what's up here. Sorry. That's just a tray. That's a little boppy. Both bumbo seats. This is her over, like, what she cannot wear anymore. So, this is all the preemie clothes that she wore when she came home from the hospital. And then this is toys, everything extra that she has, but she doesn't need anymore. Um, I know you're going to think I'm weird, but th below the crib is all of her extra diapers all of them so there's stage one right here where the honest diapers and the pampers are but behind that is stage two and stage three so we have all of her diapers under this crib i highly recommend so this is the nursery tour all complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I apologize for how I look, but you really don't see my face in a lot, a lot in this video. So it really doesn't matter, does it? Um, new mom status, it's okay. We all look like this. Instagram, YouTube, all of this makes you look like you have your life together and your makeup's always done, but real life is. It's only done for the videos, but not this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.